and begin the recording of our webinar so that families who are unable to attend can view the recording later. I'm going to, as I give instructions, allow our three interpreters to repeat after me as um, we get into our interpretation rooms in just a moment. Uh, you will be able to hear um, the, the three languages offered um, simultaneously. Buenas tardes y bienvenidos. En este momento vamos a aprender eh, para grabar esta sesión para familias que no pueden asistir. Este, la grabación va a ser en inglés solamente, no se graba en los otros idiomas. Este, vamos a dejar que los otros intérpretes también hablen y después vamos a abrir la oportunidad uh, para seleccionar su lenguaje para que todos estén escuchando el idioma que prefieren al mismo tiempo. Natalia, would you like to go next? Так, ну, в принципе, все, в общем-то, было так, как вот, значит, мы будем говорить о новом о, 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 школьном о, году, значит, который идет, и, в общем-то, вот эти все вопросы, которые неясны насчет, о, если идете в школу или остаетесь дома. Ну, в общем, все вопросы, ну, все то же самое, что все вопросы готовьте, и мы будем вам отвечать. Все, спасибо. Um, hello, uh, dạ, ta đây là ta, ta, xin hôm nay là ta xin chào đón quý vị ta đến buổi họp mặt uh, phụ huynh uh, để mà chào đón tất cả ta, phụ huynh uh, và học sinh trở lại trường ta, của trường ta, <cười> tiểu học uh, Linwood nhé. Uh, xin cho quý vị biết rằng uh, ta, cái buổi họp hôm nay ta, sẽ đang được ta, thâu lại để cho ta, những phụ huynh mà không có ta, coi có dự được hôm nay vẫn có thể coi lại sau đó. Thì uh, hiện tại nó đang được thâu. À, hiện tại bây giờ thì ta, ta, mỗi lần mà tôi nói cái gì đó tôi là ta, tôi là tôi là hiệu trưởng chắc Linh Henry là hiệu trưởng của trường nhé mỗi lần mà tôi nói cái gì thì là tôi quý vị sẽ được nghe um, có cơ hội để cho người thông dịch nói nhưng mà lát nữa một chút xíu nữa thì là sẽ được đưa qua um, những cái phòng riêng thì lúc đó thì ta, mỗi lần gì tôi nói thì sẽ được thông dịch ngay ngay cùng lúc dạ ta, xin cảm ơn thank you So tonight, our webinar is being offered in uh, multiple languages, and I'd like to thank Dr. Sally Guzman uh, for being present as our Spanish interpreter, uh, Ms. Natalia McKenya, who is one of our Linwood paraeducators, and also uh, Mr. Duong Nguyen, who is um, translating for us in Vietnamese. Um, tonight, language interpretation is available. If you click at the bottom of your Zoom link, the globe that says interpretation, and you'll want to select your respective language. One note that um, we do want to make is once we do open up that interpretation window, um, Spanish will be available, Kenya will be in Russian, and then unfortunately Zoom does not have a Vietnamese option, so the Vietnamese language will be under the Chinese language. Ok, so, en este momento tenemos la oportunidad de tener esta sesión interpretado en tres idiomas. Será en Rusia y este Vietnamese. Eh, la opción de Vietnamese será debajo de la palabra Chinese, que es C-H-I. Este, a la parte de abajo de su pantalla, cuando la directora aprende la opción, va a salir un círculo como la que está en su pantalla. Y ahí lo va a oprimir y va a seleccionar el idioma. Si necesita español, por favor, eh, seleccione Spanish, como está escrito en mi nombre, S-P-A-N-I-S-A-C-H. Значит, чтобы перенестись, наверное, нас будут в эти в отдельные комнаты отправлять, поэтому вы там найдите где-то внизу в Zoom, найдете вот в эту кнопочку, где идти на вот эти переводы. Поэтому вот для русского вы там увидите, для других языков, там, например, Spanish, китайский, чинис, вьетнамец, то есть там это будут уже люди ориентироваться сами. 
Вот. Что касается русского, вы там найдете и идите прямо в комнату. Хорошо, спасибо. Yeah, hôm nay đó thì chúng tôi có um, người tam ba người thông dịch đó, có ta tiếng Tây Ban Nha nè và tiếng Nga và tiếng là, là tiếng uh, và tiếng Việt. Uh, chút xíu nữa quý vị có um, sẽ thấy ở dưới ta, cái màn hình của quý vị có một cái cái um, cái, cái, cái ký hiệu cái quả địa cầu đó thì quý vị có thể nhấn vào cái nút đó để mà tầm chọn vô cái phòng uh, tiếng Việt mình để mà được nghe nói ta, ta tiếng Việt cùng lúc với lại ta, À, tôi, khi mà tôi nói tiếng Anh nha à, rất tiếc là tiếng Việt à, hiện tại cái ta, hệ thống ta nó họ không có ta, ta, à, zoom không có cho hiện lên ta, cái tiếng Việt cho để cho mình chọn cho người ta cho nên à, xin quý vị phải chọn cái tiếng Chinese nha là tiếng ta là tiếng ta, là tiếng Trung đó à, mặc dù là ta, nó nói là tiếng Trung nhưng mà à, vô đó thì sẽ có nghe giọng tiếng Việt của tôi đang người thông dịch đang nói nha à, xin cảm ơn Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to pause for just one moment. Um, Sally, when you have somebody not popping up in the interpreter box, have you found a fix to add them quickly? For some reason, I'm not recognizing Natalia as the interpreter, and I can't find her. So I don't have the interpreter option. Maybe is because you're the host. Um, mm -hmm. What I do is I sometimes I add people and it sh they should show up on the list because it brings in everyone from the meeting. So if you delete that row mm -hmm. and then you add a new row and you just pick her out of the list of attendees, it should pop up. Okay. Thank you for your patience, everyone. We're just making sure that we can get our interpreters added to the correct room. The issue is when I scroll through, I don't find Miss McKenna as an option in my members list. Hmm. That's strange. Um, I mean, if you wanted to make me host, I could try, but I might get the same thing as you, but happy to try. Okay. I have just made you host. Thanks everyone for your patience. We'll get started in just one moment. Do we want to also um, let the people know? Yeah, this, uh, that would be great. We're just having, estamos teniendo un poquito de, de problemas técnicos. Danos un momento, por favor. Okay, gracias. Так, на русском языке кто? Вы поняли, что сейчас она меня делает, директор делает как кохоз, поэтому немножечко там какие-то заминки. То есть она старается сейчас сделать. Вот. Как только увидите, там э, идите на комнату, где русский язык. Спасибо. А, xin lỗi quý vị là đang ta phải chờ nha, tại vì chúng tôi đang ta, có một chút xíu ta, vấn đề kỹ thuật để mà đang ta, bỏ ta, tên tất cả những người thông dịch vô trong những cái phòng của họ. À, xin quý vị kiên nhẫn chờ chút xíu. À, cảm ơn. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not really sure why it won't it won't show me her either. And I'm scrolling through the whole list. Mm -hmm. uh, Natalia, could you try changing your name to say Russian interpreter? And let me see if that likes you more. Mm -hmm. 
Can you find me or uh, I need to erase Natalia Makenia and put instead Russian? <laughs> e either way, for some reason, it's not registering you. Um, can we check to see if there's someone who needs Russian interpreter? Um, if so, we might have to have you leave the meeting and come back. Uh, oh, Ms. McKinney, you just muted yourself. Families, if you require Russian translation, would you please go ahead and use the reaction button by raising your hand or putting in the chat that you require translation? Oh, Ms. Natalia, if you could unmute. Still. Yeah. From my first checking up, uh, I saw at least one uh, family. Okay. Uh, uh, and uh, so, but I, I did not check all people. Yeah. You may want to just ask that, Nateria, if there's any in, in, in Russian. Natalia, can you repeat that question if anyone requires translation in Russian first? Да, если, значит, проблема создать комнату, но мы можем вместе работать по-английски и по-русски тут же сразу. Значит, в чате, в чат напишите, кому нужна помощь по, по, по русскому языку. Вот в чате, видите вот эту кнопочку сейчас? Вот, напишите, хорошо? Вот. So that I explain them um, through the chat, they would uh, just uh, tell us uh, if they need help, okay? Because some of them, they uh, can understand in English very well. Okay, thank you, Natalia. <laughs> Ali, did you have any luck? No, I think um, we have two options. We can continue without Natalia as an interpreter Mm -hmm. or we can have her try to leave the meeting and come back into the meeting to see if that helps Zoom sure. register her. Natalia, let's go ahead and have you leave really quickly. And if that doesn't um, solve the issue, then we'll move forward without your interpretation and, and be mindful of trying to provide some other things for our Russian families to make sure they can access. Okay, so Mrs. Henry, would you please re repeat? Uh, I'm just like uh, watching chat and I missed what you told me. <laughs> yes, no, that's fine. Natalia, would you please um, leave the meeting and come back in? We'll see if we can add you after you've um, moved back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you for all that are putting notes in the chat. She's appearing as a participant, but not in our translation services. So it's a, a, a little bit tricky. It could also be on um, due to how you see was admitted as well into the chat. Mm -hmm. So Mrs. Henley, I, I am leaving the meeting and coming back, Thank right? Thank you, yes. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Thank you everyone again for your patience. Yes, it's good. Mm -hmm. I'm Thank you, Natalia. Welcome back. Sally, has she popped up on yours? 
I, I handed her back to I handed her thing back to you. Oh, so you thank you. Yeah. Okay. I, my apologies. No worries. Oh. Still not getting um, Natalia, unfortunately, in our translation services. So at this time, we will go ahead and move on. Um, This time we will go ahead and move on um, without our um, Russian translation, Natalia. Um, but what I will say is we will have Natalia, if any of our Russian families do have questions, um, that they can go ahead and put um, questions in the chat and um, you will be available to answer them in Russian as well. Uh, so, so without room, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Значит, кто с русским языком остаемся в, в главной комнате, не идем в комнаты, остаемся с, э, здесь. Э, и, значит, когда вопросы по чату, пишите вопросы, мы будем отвечать. Хорошо? Спасибо. Спасибо, спасибо. Thank you, Natalia. Um, uh, Sally and Duong, I'll just um, repeat the directions for our families to get into the uh, the booths and then we'll begin. Uh, so families, just a reminder, thanks for your patience. If you are a family who um, requires Spanish translation at this time, you'll want to click the interpretation button. And if you are a family who requires Vietnamese, translation, you'll want to click the um, interpretation button and select the Chinese option. The translation will be started now. Hello, dạ, ta xin ta, gia đình uh, cho nếu mà có cần Việt Nam uh, thì xin nhấn vào tiếng ta quả địa cầu rồi chọn tiếng ta tiếng Chinese nha, tức là tiếng ta, tiếng Hoa, tiếng Trung nhưng mà mặc dù là mình là tiếng Việt nha, tại vì ta, người ta đã để ta, cho nó như vậy. Okay, everyone, at this time, uh, if you are requiring translation, you should be in a language booth, but at, at any time, if you have questions, you can put them into our chat, um, and our Russian translation will be available in um, written in the chat if you require any questions as well. То есть на русском языке мы остаемся в этой комнате. Я еще раз повторяю, и все вопросы мы будем по в письменном виде вот он и чат вести. Я, может быть, даже первое вам напишу. Спасибо. Thank you, Natalia. And at this time, I won't have you translate any longer verbally, but if there are any questions, do please put them in the chat. Okay, everyone, tonight we're finally getting started. Thank you for your patience. Uh, we are going to go over uh, first a land acknowledgement, provide some information about our school, Linwood Elementary, go over some of the logistics about what a day in the life of a Linwood student looks like, some health and safety practices uh, to combat the ongoing COVID-19 um, crisis in our community, and then provide some time for some questions at the end. At any time, if you have any questions that you would like answered, you're welcome to put them in the chat or save them until the end uh, when we can um, answer them during our Q&A session. At the start of all of our meetings for the Edmonds School District, we like to begin with a land acknowledgement. Uh, we acknowledge the original inhabitants of this place, the Snohomish people and their successors, the Klamath tribes, who since time immemorial has taken care of, hunted, fished, and gathered on these lands. We respect their sovereignty, their right to self-determination, and we honor their sacred spiritual connection with the land and water. By acknowledging these homelands, we commit to working with our tribal nations to further the educational aims um, that they have identified in our classrooms and schools. So welcome to our Linwood Back to School event. The goal of our uh, presentation tonight is just to help prepare our families for the 21-22 school year uh, and provide any uh, information to questions that you might have.
the first day of school for first through 12th graders, sixth graders at our school is Wednesday, September 8th, 2021. Our kindergartners first three days will be family connection meetings with their child's teacher. And so their official first day will be September 13th on Monday. And our plan is to have our last day of school on Friday, June 24th, 2022. School starts at 8.50 a.m. Oh, excuse me, school, school arrival begins at 8.50. Our school bell rings and the start of the student day starts at 9.20 a.m. We go from 9.20 to the end of the day for students, which is at 3.50 p.m. We ask that students don't arrive any earlier than 8.50 a.m. as we don't have supervision for them until 8.50. There are lots of ways to find out information about our school, our school website, and our monthly newsletter. I'm going to put in the chat right now the link to our last monthly newsletter that came out in August. So if you missed it, you can take a look at some of the most recent information and some of the back to school updates that are happening. You can additionally sign up for text messages, which you can find information how to do in that newsletter I just put in the chat, or you can find us on Facebook as well. So what does the day in a, the life of a student at Linwood look like? We're going to walk through what the classroom will look like, the lunchroom, recess, and our arrival and dismissal. So, our classrooms have been organized to help promote social distancing for our students. Currently, we are operating under the three foot recommendation by the state and Department of Health. And so students are spaced at three feet apart, um, mostly um, group tables, but some of our classrooms do look like individual desks facing forward, depending on the enrollment of a uh, number of students in that class. I'm going to put in the chat the link to our student supply list. This is our recommended list of supplies for students by grade. We ask that you consider uh, sending these supplies with your child to interact with in the classroom. Part of the issue of having individual supplies is to uh, reduce the amount of uh, hands-on uh, materials that are shared between students. And if uh, providing supplies or purchasing supplies is a hardship for your family, we ask that you please do notify us in our office. We have lots of supplies for kids and uh, we don't want any kids to go without um, the things that they need in the classroom. So please let us know. Sanjana, I see uh, a link in our note in the chat here. Uh, the question is, is there information relating to PK in this meeting that will be starting in October? Time? We don't have as much information for the specific preschool program, uh, but some of the information regarding uh, how our school is mitigating COVID and our um, uh, 
Common Spaces um, does apply to preschool as well, um, but more information will be coming out for preschool families from our preschool teacher and our district um, closer to October when preschool begins. Great question. So students will be spending the majority of their time in the classroom with their teachers and classmates. They'll go through all of their different academic areas and they'll be leaving only for instruction for our specialists, uh, music, PE and library, or if they receive uh, special services uh, for title lap, um, special education or as a multilingual learner. They also, um, in terms of their supplies, will be bringing their Chromebook home each day. Uh, it's really important to have a Chromebook uh, for each child in case we need to um, quarantine or if your child becomes ill. Uh, so all students will be issued a district-owned Chromebook, or if they have one from last year, they will continue to hold on to or swap out um, the Chromebook for a new one at our Chromebook swap on um, Wednesday. Um, it's helpful for us if you have a conversation with your child about how to safely carry their Chromebook back and forth to school, uh, making sure that their backpack is safe and not banged around, that their cord is wrapped up nicely, and that they're being responsible for remembering that Chromebook and charger every day as they will and might use it in uh, their classroom instruction. And um, keeping it charged is helpful as well. We do have some um, chargers at school, but not enough for one-to-one -one for every child. So um, your conversations with your child is um, helpful in keeping those materials ready to use. At lunchtime, students will continue to be spaced three feet apart and facing one direction uh, while they are eating lunch unmasked. Kids will sit in a specific zone in the lunchroom uh, and uh, we will reduce the amount of getting up and going to the trash can so that uh, students are stayed in one spot while having their mask off and eating. This year, in uh, continuation of last year, due to federal funds, uh, the district is able to offer free breakfast and lunch to every child in our district. Uh, so please do encourage your kids to eat breakfast, eat lunch, um, and make sure that they're filled so that their bodies are ready to uh, learn as much, uh, best as possible. And then additionally, uh, we ask that you consider sending a water bottle with your child. They'll have access to our water bottle refill stations, but due to COVID, um, getting drinks at the drinking fountain is still off limits. Uh, if students don't have a water bottle, we do have extras to provide them or we will use disposable cups so they have access to water throughout the day. Recess, we will continue to have zoned off areas for different grades. Last year, we were able to zone off chunks of the playground for each class. This year, we will be dividing the playground based on grade level. So students will um, stay on one side of the playground based on their grade. And uh, in terms of materials, students will have all of the built-in pieces of our playground, like the play structures, the basketball hoops. But um, in terms of smaller materials, they'll have access to individual balls, hula hoops, jump ropes, uh, and students will uh, sanitize their hands before coming onto and leaving the playground. In addition to students uh, sanitizing, uh, our play equipment will be disinfected da daily. Okay, 
now I'd like to go over arrival and dismissal. As stated earlier, students can arrive between 8.50 and 9.20. However, we hope that they arrive by 9.10. So that gives them enough time to uh, get situated and ready for school when the bell rings. We ask that you help uh, make sure that your child packs a mask in coming to school, although we'll always have extras on hand if they arrive without one. Students can uh, arrive and leave school in a number of different ways. So I'll go over those different uh, ways to come to school. Um, the first would be walking. You have uh, crossing guards available on 44th and 188th starting at 8.50 to cross the street safely. Um, please discuss if your child is a walker, uh, traffic safety, and making sure that they are um, only walking with um, family members and not strangers, and that they're going straight to school or straight to home if walking. If your child is a bike rider, uh, please also have conversations with them about uh, safety. Once children arrive to our campus, we ask that they walk their bikes onto our school property and that they should always be wearing a helmet. If students are riding the bus, uh, I'll go over uh, some more details um, regarding bus specifics near the end of our presentation tonight. However, uh, students would arrive between 8.50 and 9.10. They'd exit the bus and go right into the building uh, for breakfast or our morning supervision. And if students are arriving by a family drop-off, they would come through our family uh, parking lot. And families can either park their car and get out and walk them to the front entrance of our building, or you can drive through the drive-through and let them exit. Uh, there will be supervision there for them to walk independently into the building. I'm just jumping onto the chat here, there's a question. Are children able to bring their own lunch? Are there different requirements for lunch containers or lunch boxes? Yes, children are able to bring their own lunch. You are always more than welcome to send a lunch with them. Uh, there are no different requirements for lunch containers. Uh, families send their lunches in all sorts of things, but our recommendation is that it is um, closable and labeled with your child's name so that we know that it's theirs. And it's also helpful to know your child and what kinds of things they are able to open successfully and independently. Uh, so if there's a difficult container or thermos that you're sending with them, it's good to practice so that they can open. We do, however, have staff during lunch that can help if they struggle. Okay, I'm just gonna pause here for a moment as well. If you are a family who is uh, joining us uh, after the beginning of our um, presentation, just a reminder that at the bottom of our uh, Zoom, you can select the interpretation button to hear both Spanish and Vietnamese translation. Tracy asked a question, will we be required to complete a daily health attestation screening questionnaire like we did in the spring? No. No attestation. If you were dropping off for right at school in the morning, you will still um, uh, park in the family parking area and escort your child to the front door. And right at school, we'll pick you, pick, um, meet you there um, to collect your child. And the same for the end of the day, you would meet them at the front door.
Will there be snack for kindergarten? No, no snacks for any students, just lunch uh, and breakfast. After students arrive, they'll enter the building and either go to our cafe uh, for uh, breakfast or they'll go into the gym for supervision. And then beginning at 9.10, students will head to their classrooms to be ready by 9.20. See a question, will parents be allowed to bring treats to the classroom, any celebrations allowed? Um, generally, we try to um, discourage families bringing in um, treats or snacks for birthday celebrations. Celebrations are still um, allowed and suggested, um, but we try to uh, bring them around the classroom community and let the teachers kind of um, advertise for those. Um, also due to COVID right now, we are limiting um, sending in outside foods. Um, and we also have to be careful about that because of student allergies as well. Just going to put in the chat. Um, and a reminder that um, in the interpretation button, you can um, select English as well so that you only hear uh, the English translator. Right at school, I believe, begins at 6 30. They also have a flyer on their website as well to confirm. It's either 6 or 6.30. I'll check on that in our question and answer session, okay? All right, I'm gonna pause on the chat questions. If um, you have a question in there um, still, we'll make sure to circle back to it. I wanted to go over dismissal as well. It's important to let your child's teacher know how your child will get home and that um, uh, we try as, as much as possible to keep your child in a routine way of getting home. That helps us ensure that kids get safely where they need to be. If you call the office before 2.30, um, we can make same day changes to your child's dismissal plan. Our, our uh, office will notify your child's teacher to make sure that they go home in the different method if it's um, not uh, your used to way of getting home. If there are long-term changes, we ask that you just email your child's teacher so that they um, can help make sure that your child dismisses in um, the new way. Additionally, at the end of the day, um, we ask that you note that um, due to social distancing, our teachers um, won't be standing around outside to answer questions. And so the best way is to send a note or an email to your teacher, request a phone call, um, leave a voicemail, or um, try to set up a Zoom meeting. At the end of the day, Students who are walkers or bikers, they'll be dismissed outside the back of our school by the basketball courts and our back gate. If students ride the bus, we will escort them out and make sure they get on the correct bus. And then last but not least, if your child is a, a child who will be picked up through our drive-through, we ask that you stay in your car through our family parking lot. And on the first day, we'll hand out signs for you to write your child's name. So that way, when you pull through, we can get them efficiently into your car. If you want to escort and walk your child to the car, we ask that you park and plan to also pick your child up at the back of the school with the rest of our walkers. Okay. Great. There is transportation on early dismissal days. We're gonna go over COVID policies at the end of this presentation. 
you should be able to look uh, and go over this in just a moment in your child's Skyward account to find out your asset information. But if you are unable to find it or access it, if you give our office the call, we can help you um, find that. Okay. Um, a quick question. My daughter's not picked up till 9.05. How will she arrive by 8.50? Um, 8.50 is just the start of arrival. School doesn't begin until 9.20. So students arrive all different times in that window, including students who are picked up by the bus. They don't have to be there by 8.50. When will students get their Chromebooks? If you are a new to the Edmond School District student um, who is not in kindergarten, you can come to our Chromebook uh, pickup time, which is Wednesday from two to four. If you're not able to make it at that time, students will receive their Chromebooks on the first day of school. And that includes our kindergartners. Our kindergartners will receive their, their Chromebooks after the school year begins. Great, I think that covers all the questions so far. Thanks for keeping them coming in the chat. So speaking of kindergartners, uh, again, our first three days of school for first through sixth grade um, begin the eighth, ninth, and 10th, but those days are family connection days for our kindergartners. They have um, no school on those days, but we do hope that you come to our scheduled appointment time with your child's teacher for um, these connection meetings. They're essentially a family conference. They will be over Zoom, and they'll last about 45 minutes to an hour. If you didn't attend Jumpstart, uh, your child's teacher should be reaching out to you to schedule a time that works for your schedule. And the goal of these meetings is just for uh, your child's teacher to get to know you and your family and your child um, better before the school year begins and how we can best uh, serve them. So now I'm going to go into um, our, our COVID-19 um, pieces of information. So it's really important in our current uh, time um, to be thinking about the health and safety of our students, our families, and our staff, and that is our priority. Our school will continue to follow the guidance of Washington uh, State's Department of Health and uh, the Snohomish Health District and to ensure that we're doing everything we can for the health and safety of our kids, staff, families, and our community. And we'll continue to adapt uh, to any new guidance that comes out throughout the school year. Um, and uh, just like last year, um, information is always coming out rapidly. Uh, for the health and safety of everyone in our buildings, uh, we're going to continue to require masks both inside the building and outside while on campus. Uh, we're going to maintain physical distancing, a uh, minimum of three feet, and when we can, six feet. Uh, we ask that before arriving to school or any district building that you check um, for yourself and your child uh, for COVID-19 symptoms and that you stay home when, um, when feeling sick. We have a COVID-19 family handbook for our students, staff, and families, and that is available on our district website. I'm going to put that link in the chat. It also can be found on our district website as well and our, our school page. This answers uh, many questions that families often have, and it's in, uh, updated with information throughout the year with the latest information. As mentioned before, we are not requiring daily health attestations for staff and students, um, but we are asking families to check their children uh, for symptoms of COVID-19 before sending them to school and staff are expected to do the same check as well. The Department of Health is not requiring us uh, to do um, attestations as proof of a daily health check. 
You can always find the COVID-19 symptoms on our district website if you are um, wanting to be thorough. And um, we ask that families do keep students home if they've been exposed to COVID-19, have symptoms, um, or if they're sick with other illnesses. Um, there are uh, some COVID-19 symptoms that we want you to be aware of. Those would be fever, uh, temperature greater than 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, cough um, for those that have um, ongoing allergies or asthma. Um, this would be a cough that's different than their normal cough um, baseline. Uh, shortness of breath or difficulty breathing, chills, unusual fatigue, and muscle or body aches. It also includes new onset of headache, sore throat, maybe sudden loss of taste or smell, congestion or runny nose, unrelated to seasonal allergies, um, nausea or vomiting or diarrhea. Beyond being aware of COVID-19 symptoms, we also wanna talk about the health and safety mitigations that we are um, working through at school. Um, and Jennifer, I see your question. I'm gonna, let, let me answer that once I get through the COVID um, section. Um, will the 2021 um, family ca calendar be mailed to us soon? Um, yes, it's my understanding that it will be mailed out. So in terms of mitigating certain or, um, strategies, uh, we'll use routine cleaning procedures that prioritize highly used areas and spaces with a higher risk of generating aerosols or bodily fluids. Um, last year, this looked like um, frequent cleaning of our restrooms, touch points like handles um, and high contact surface areas in classrooms like um, desks and uh, materials that might be touched by multiple students. We have optimal ventilation in all of our district and school buildings, and our HVAC systems have been uh, set to maximize the amount of outside air introduced into the buildings, and our filters have been upgraded and will be changed regularly. Um, students and staff are required to wash and sanitize their hands upon entering the building. Um, we use hand sanitizer at our front door and um, as they enter their classroom and throughout the day before lunch, um, after and before recess and the restroom. Um, we're going to go ahead and take a quick moment to watch a video about uh, hand washing. to stop the spread of germs is to wash your hands. When you get to school, the first thing you would do is wash your hands. Let's talk about the best way to wash your hands. Step one, use warm water and soap. Rub your hands really well and make lots of bubbles. Step two, wash for 20 seconds. 
That's like singing happy birthday two times. Step three, rinse your hands really well. Step four, use a paper towel to make sure they're nice and dry. Shut off the water using the paper towel and throw the paper towel away in the bin. Washing hands with warm water and soap is the best. The other option is to use hand sanitizer. There will be several times throughout the day for you to wash your hands or sanitize. We also, beyond hand washing, will encourage students to um, wear masks both inside and outside of school. Uh, and uh, so we have a quick video, which is helpful for families to watch about mask wearing. about mask wearing at school. Before you leave for school, be sure to grab a clean mask and two or three extras to keep with you. You'll also need a bag or a container to put your used mask in if they get dirty and wet while you're at school. That's when those extra masks will come in handy. If you forget your mask or run out of clean mask at school, don't worry. Your school will have an extra for you to wear. Now let's talk about the correct way to put on, wear, and remove your face mask. Step one, wash or sanitize your hands. Step two, hold your mask by the ear loops when you put it on over your ears. Step three, make sure it fits well across your face. The mask needs to be over your nose and under your chin and fits snugly around your face. If your mask has an adjustable piece on the nose, pinch it so it fits really well. Step four, when your mask gets dirty, wet, or it's time to take it off, remove it by the ear loops. Don't touch the front of the mask. That's where the germs are. Place the mask in a container or in a storage bag that you brought from home for safekeeping. If your mask can be thrown away, put it in the garbage. If your mask is the kind you can reuse, be sure to take it home and wash it. Step five, this is very important. Make sure after you take your mask off, that you wash your hands or use sanitizer to wash those germs away. Okay, so in order to protect our students and staff, we do have limited access to our schools. Our campuses are closed to any non-school individuals. This includes uh, family um, and um, caregivers and our volunteers. Our main office will be open for urgent family needs, um, but for um, non-urgent, our school staff will always meet you at the door. If you have a concern or an urgent need, um, please do call our office phone number or email us with questions that you have throughout the school year. And if visiting, even up to the door, we do ask that you keep um, your mask, mask on. On August 18th of this uh, last month, uh, the governor did mandate that all K through 12 school employees must be fully vaccinated for um, from COVID-19 by mid-October. Uh, the district will follow this law and will share a verification process with all staff to complete soon. Um, the vaccine is available to anyone 12 years or older at this time. Um, we do encourage families to go to the Snohomish Health District's website to learn more about the vaccine and how to book an appointment if your child is 12 years or older. We additionally will offer uh, in-school COVID-19 testing for families uh, with family permission of students who may have been exposed to COVID-19 or have COVID-like symptoms. 
along with mask wearing, uh, testing for COVID-19 is our key uh, mitigation strategy. And so testing is available at all of our schools. There are still unique uh, requirements for performing arts. At this time, Washington State Department of Health has given um, us guidance that all students should have access to chosen performing arts. And for that, that is our music classes. Um, and I'll put in the chat the latest update regarding um, participating in the music classroom right now that looks like singing um, still being limited to um, outdoor settings um, so that um, the aerosols from um, the exhalations are not um, in a closed space. Here is the link to uh, the Department of Health if you would like to learn more about uh, the performing arts. Okay, we had a few questions regarding COVID-19 um, in the chat. I'm thinking that I can answer a handful of those right now just um, to provide information. A question was asked, what symptoms would require immediate pickup from school? Are there any that will require them to get tested before going back to school? Um, so we really uh, want to be mindful of all of those symptoms that were listed prior in the presentation. And when thinking about um, students needing to quarantine or be um, remain home from school, it would be partnering with our school nurse to look at what are considered class A symptoms and class B symptoms or what might be a um, normal symptom for your child. Um, maybe they have allergies, asthma, um, that, uh, so things that are atypical to them. And then depending on those symptoms, we would work with you to either decide, um, do they need to remain home? Um, do we, um, should we be tested um, and helping provide resources for that? Um, we can send out um, kind of our flow chart for making decisions based on symptoms um, following our webinar. Will students who stay home sick be required to be tested to return or will they be able to return once symptoms are gone? Uh, it depends on what the symptoms are, how many they have, and um, whether or not uh, they've been uh, uh, tested or tested positive for COVID-19. Again, uh, somewhat case-by-case um, -case scenario, depending on um, what is ailing your child. Um, question from Darnell, will we get yearbooks for last year? No, we chose not to do a yearbook last year due to the number of students that we didn't have images for due to um, uh, distance learning. Are kids able to bring their own personal hand sanitizer bottle, travel size? Yes. Are we supposed to receive um, a Bus based on your addresses. Yes, if you look in your child's Skyward account, you should see information regarding um, busing. Um, and um, if you have any questions or having trouble finding that information, please give our office a call and we can um, help you with that. Will students who are kept at home be penalized for being gone or will they be able to distance learn if they have a cold? Right now, our district is bargaining with our uh, certificated staff what and how students will access learning if they are asked to quarantine or stay at home for longer periods of time. Um, our goal is always for kids to, to have access uh, and continue their learning uh, at home as best as they can and would not be penalized. Um, will they have hand sanitizer on the school buses? I understand that they'll be continuing that practice, yes. Um, bus schedules should be published already, and um, teacher assignments will go live on Wednesday. Okay. And last, um, to take advantage of free lunch, do you simply send your child without a lunch? Yep. If they walk through um, into our cafe and they want to pick up a lunch or a breakfast, they just walk right through the line and pick it up. 
And last question, when, um, when would COVID-19 testing be done at school if they have a symptom or if they're exposed? Um, so uh, generally it would be that they are presenting symptoms. Um, at this time, uh, our district isn't in the practice of um, if a child was potentially exposed, um, but we are still getting frequent updates from our, our district nursing staff regarding um, when and how to test. And so um, it could be that that might be an offering if a child's been exposed, um, but at this time it's if they're experiencing symptoms themselves. Okay, I see a couple more questions. Um, and I'll um, answer them a little bit as we get into our final slides here. Um, uh, the learning plan for when your student uh, is out or sick or needs to isolate um, or quarantine due to COVID-19. Um, students will receive assignments to complete at home. Um, and the district um, is following um, our state's attendance guidance policies. Um, if the Department of Health asks for an entire classroom or a school to quarantine, we would revert to online learning. I'm going to put that link here in the chat. The, um, many of the questions around busing. Um, we do have a new busing uh, app. It's called Edulog. And um, uh, beyond Skyward, it allows um, families to see information regarding what, child, what the bus number is that their child would be um, writing, what, um, where they'd be picked up, what time for arrival and departure. And I've also discovered um, that they can give updates. For example, if your child's bus is running late for some reason, they will update that real time in the app so you can access that. I'll put the link to this app in the chat if you are wanting to add it to your mobile phone. It also can always be found on our district website. We mentioned earlier that lunches are free for all students. Um, menu information is accessible starting today. Here is the link to the menu. There was a question earlier, how are child's food for children's food allergies addressed and protected? Um, if a child has a life-threatening allergy, our nurse works very closely with their assigned teacher um, to make them aware of that allergy, um, especially if they um, uh, have a, a huge allergy to um, peanuts or shellfish. We have signage that goes on their classroom um, so that other staff and personnel are aware of that. And then generally we designate a specific area in our cafeteria that is a peanut or nut-free um, table or whatever that your child's allergy is uh, so that um, they are separated from other children who might be eating that um, food. And then um, we um, have a different um, cleaners that we use for that area um, to make sure it's um, very clean uh, and no allergies are um, able to, or allergens are able to um, be in that area. And then additionally, our staff who supervise lunch are made aware of uh, who's, uh, who those children are that have um, those life-threatening allergies so that we can monitor them closely. Um, if you're concerned about your child's food allergies, uh, please do reach out to our office and our school nurse so we can make sure that we walk you through the specifics for your child. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, um, Jacqueline Padgett. She's one of our bus drivers. You can also follow the bus via GPS with the app. That's pretty cool. Um, if you have um, questions about who your child's teacher is going to be, that's going to be available Wednesday. Um, an email will go out specifically to you um, uh, who your child's teacher is, but you can also see it in Skyward. 
what if your child gets on the wrong bus? Uh, great question. Um, we work really hard to try to put them on the right bus at the end of the day. Um, your teachers are aware of what uh, bus your child rides and um, they line up for specific buses. Uh, and then additionally, our bus drivers are trained to be aware of, of who rides their buses and um, supporting them and supervising them and getting off. If there ever was a, a missed um, mistake where a child got on a on the wrong bus. If they um, were still on the bus, then they would be delivered back to our school um, and we would um, contact and reach out to you immediately to, to make sure that they get home safe. Um, in my th last three years, we've only had one child get on uh, the wrong bus and we realized it pretty quickly and they were brought right back to school. Okay. And we're just a little over time. We thank you for your patience as we uh, got our translators uh, all set up. We are coming to the last few slides. So, um, and if you do need to head out, um, you know that we are gonna record this so you can always um, access the last few things if you need to take off. Uh, the last is, does your family need financial support? Um, eligible students and families can complete a free and reduced uh, meal application. Um, beyond um, our free meals, uh, filling out this free and reduced form does help um, our school receive uh, federal funding and state funding. And so we do ask that you consider um, uh, making a uh, effort to fill those out. Um, this provides additional benefits beyond meals, um, such as fees for sports um, and um, reduced cost internet. <laughs> Here is the link uh, to that free and reduced form. And we also have this form in Spanish and I believe it's in multiple languages on the webpage. And if you would like a printed um, application, feel free to give um, uh, this number a call or you can call our office as well. Um, our main information system is Skyward. It's the system where you can find all of your child's educational records and school information and um, their grades. It's where we um, find your contact information. So it's really important that this is up to date, especially your email addresses. Um, we mentioned the bus route information, um, but a whole lot more. So if you haven't logged into Skyward, we recommend that. And if you have any trouble or need um, help with that, let us know and, and we'll walk you through it. Okay, and last but not least, um, we're hiring. Uh, so consider joining the Edmond School District. Um, we've got a lot of different available jobs, um, but we are especially in need of bus drivers and food service workers. Um, so please um, consider checking out that uh, employment website, which I'll put here in the chat. Um, if you are looking for employment, we're looking to grow our, our community. Um, I see um, some questions. My daughter sees an SLP. How does that work with mask wearing and needing to see pronunciations? Um, Jennifer, we do have um, specialty masks, um, masks that have a clear plastic piece or face shields. And so students who um, require those for special services or um, they have difficulty wearing um, the full cloth mask and, and it's easier to wear, for example, a, a mask with a drape or a face shield with a drape. Um, we have lots of different options. So um, just communicate with us and or um, Amy Arnold, our SLP, and we'll figure out the best for that. Okay. And then I just saw one other question. I think I got the rest of them, but um, in just a moment, I'll open up to just unmute yourself and ask questions if you um, would, uh, are still looking for more information. Um, but the last was just um, how many students in our community have um, opted for online learning? Um, typically, our uh, enrollment is around 570, 575. Uh, for our students, um, but we have probably around 70, 75 students who have opted for remote learning this year, and so they are um, taking part in Edmonds uh, Remote Academy. Um, and so it's about nine or 10 students in each grade. 
different that um, is opting for remote. So our numbers are down um, more so than usual. However, the, the majority of our students are returning for in-person learning five days a week, which we're really excited about. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Jacqueline, for putting in the chat. If your student gets on the wrong bus, we'll make sure they get home safely. Our bus drivers are amazing. They are. Oh, wonderful. How do parents find out about different volunteering opportunities at Linwood? Great question. Wow, there's a lot of different ways. Um, the first is um, uh, beginning in September, we'll be sending home information. Uh, we'll be looking for some families to participate on our school improvement and equity teams. We also have a group of um, awesome parents and uh, uh, staff members that are part of our parent teacher organization. And they um, provide a number of great opportunities for our students. We have a group called our natural leaders, uh, which is run by our amazing family engagement liaison, Marie Sammy. And the purpose of our natural leaders program is to um, have built the capacity of our parents to um, be, be leaders in our school, to help other families um, have access to our educational system and to connect and provide feedback um, that drives our school and how we can best serve our kids. And so we've got a natural leaders informational webinar coming up on um, September, oh gosh, I believe it's the 27th at 6 p.m. And we'll send out more information about that as well. Um, beyond that, um, we always welcome um, family members who um, volunteer and contribute to our school community. While we're not allowing families on our campus and in our building right now, um, there's a number of ways that families can contribute and or maybe you have a gift or a way that you'd like to contribute to our school and um, we welcome that. So please just let us know and reach out to us or your child's teacher and we'll connect you. We would love to have you involved. If you click on our family newsletter that I put in at the beginning, and I'll share it one more time here um, before the end, um, there's information for our PTO, um, back to school meeting, um, and natural leaders, and, and we'll continue to share information about that monthly. Um, the last question I see is, um, what is the latest we can pick up our child? Um, school dismissal is at 350. Um, generally, dismissal takes us about 10 minutes, um, but we do recommend that if you are um, picking up your child and going through a drive through that you're there close to that dismissal time um, as our staff, um, our, our certificated staff um, works until 410 and our office staff works until 430. And I work until all of the kids go home, <laughs> but we appreciate you picking up your children as close to um, dismissal time as possible for their safety. At this time, if you have any other questions for the benefit of our um, group, um, you're welcome to unmute yourself or put them in the chat. If you have no more questions, uh, we thank you so much for coming. We hope you have a great evening and that you um, uh, for your child's teacher on Wednesday. Um, come to our Chromebook swap on Wednesday from two to four if you need to swap or pick up a new computer for your child. Um, our back to school drive through is Thursday from three to four if you want to meet your child teacher. And then school starts on Wednesday, September 8th. Um, so thanks for being here. Um, we will hang for um, probably five to 10 more minutes for questions. Um, but if you are um, satisfied and don't have any questions, we hope you have a good night. Okay, what about an online class student? Um, I'm not sure whose question this is. If your child is um, enrolled in our online academy, um, I would check their website. They have a, a new um, school webpage um, and they're doing a webinar just like this with details for their school. 
um, Prasanti. I'm going to put the number to our school office in the chat. If you call us tomorrow, we will make sure you have all of the information for your um, child and their school bus. It can also be found on our school's webpage. Um, I've been unable to con um, connect with right at school. Oh, um, will teachers hand off our children to the program at the end of each? Yes, at dismissal time, your child's teacher um, will work uh, to deliver your child to the cafe, which is where right at school will be. Um, so they'll be delivered right to um, the after school program. In the morning, beginning at 8.50, right at school will bring all of the children over from their program to breakfast or to our gym for morning supervision. So it's a kind of a hand-to-hand -hand pass off um, from their program to our supervision. So Hawaii, if you um, are dropping off your student, you can drop them off anytime between 8.50 and um, 9.20, um, but we recommend that you drop off before 9.10, just so that gives them time to enter the building, pick up breakfast if they need it, and get to class by our bell at 9.20. If your child is new to our um, district and needs a Chromebook, you can come and pick up that Chromebook on Wednesday from two to four, and we'll have it um, assigned and ready and labeled for them. Um, or if um, you can't make it at that time, um, we'll give them their Chromebook on the first day of school. They won't need their Chromebook before school starts. Um, and a good question again, back at to right at school, should I notify my teacher that they're doing right at school at the end of the day? Yes, that would be helpful. That informs their um, teacher that that's how they get home. But also know that um, we work very closely with the right at school staff, their program manager, Carly, um, we, we met last week and generally they give us a list of students who are participating in right at school. So we notify teachers as well, so they're aware. Um, Monica, teachers been assigned. Um, yes, we're in the process um, tomorrow of getting them all entered in Skyward. On Wednesday, we'll open up access so you can either see them in Skyward yourself. Uh, and additionally, you'll be sent an email um, that um, tells you, um, dear parent and guardian, here is um, your child's teacher and it will tell you who exactly your child's teacher is as well. If you ever have questions about your child, who is the um, point of contact? Your child's teacher is um, a great first point of contact. They are who work with your child the most closely. Um, so I always recommend reaching out to them. However, you can call our office staff, um, myself, um, our school psychologists or counselors, or our student intervention um, coordinator. You know, basically, if you find e any email <laughs> or phone number on our school's webpage, we'll get you to the right place and connect you with um, the person who can help meet, um, meet your need. Um, but generally, your child's teacher is who you'll communicate with the most, other than the front office. Um, does the cafeteria cook breakfast and lunches or is it mostly packaged food? Um, so we do, um, we will have a cold and a hot lunch. Um, it's um, going to be a mix. We have um, some, some warmed food. Um, it's not um, prepared on our site. It's prepared at um, our high schools and then delivered and um, at, for our lunchtime. Um, so that will generally not be packaged. And we also have like a salad bar that kids can access on um, fresh fruits and veggies. Um, but sometimes um, kids opt for, you know, some more of our um, uh, packaged options. Like um, we'll do like a yogurt pack that has um, a yogurt and some protein, cheese, things like that in it. Um, so on the menu on our district's website, you'll get an idea. There's generally two different options, a cold and a hot. Um, and it's kind of a mix of um, packaged prepared foods and um, fresh. 
Um, great question about school supplies. Yes, we ask that you send them with your child on the first day of school. Um, the school supplies that you send with your child um, will be just their supplies. They won't be shared amongst the students. Um, we're doing that for COVID purposes. Um, where can we access lunch payments? Um, don't worry about lunch payments. All breakfast and lunch this year is free for all students. Can they have anything other than what's in, on the supply list, like a pencil box to store supplies in? Um, you're welcome to send them with um, other things that aren't on the list. Um, we don't recommend you get too carried away. Mm -hmm. Our teachers have been thoughtful about what they need. And so um, you don't need to spend a, a lot more at the, um, the supply line. Um, however, I will say that all of our students, um, we have pencil boxes for all of them, each child at our school. And so so um, if you're thinking about um, needing that, um, don't worry about that. We also um, generally um, have a pair of scissors and a ruler for all of the kids as well. Um, so um, stick to the list if that works for you. If there are a couple things you want to add on, great. Um, but uh, know that we have a pencil box for them. Yes, um, Ella, free, free lunch and uh, breakfast courtesy of the federal government due to COVID. Uh, so all kids eat for free. You're welcome to send them with lunch and they can pick up a lunch too if they, they like <laughs> a lot of food at lunch, big eaters. Okay, I'm not seeing any more questions uh, unless I missed something in the chat. If I missed your question, feel free to unmute yourself and you can ask it um, uh, live if, if you're comfortable with that. I'm not seeing any hands raised in our reactions. And I'm scrolling through our videos. I don't see anybody waving at me in the screen. We'll wait just. Yes, um, your student should bring all of their school supplies on the first day of school. And if they forget them and, and they're at home on the first day, bring them on the second day. Send them when you can. <laughs> Um, we will always have backup supplies for your child as well. Okay. All right, families. Well, at this time, um, I, I thank you. You've stuck around till 826. We, we've gone a little over, but we've asked answered a lot of questions hopefully um, please know that we're gonna we've recorded this session and we're gonna post it to our district um, uh, school page uh, so if you want to refer back to this information um, please do you can find the recording or if you hear of other families that need this information uh, please direct them to watch it um, but beyond that um, if you got any questions give us a call in the office we're happy to help we're here to serve you your kids and we're just really excited to have them in person starting next Wednesday. Um, keep your eyes peeled for our events this week. We'll be sending out reminders about our um, Chromebook swap and our drive through Meet the Teacher event. Um, and beyond that, we'll be looking forward to the first day of school on September 8th. I want to thank all of our staff who are present this evening. I see a number of familiar faces and also our awesome interpreters, um, Dr. Sally Guzman, um, Duong Nguyen, and Natalia McKenna uh, for their help this evening. And thank you again for your patience with our interpretation settings. <laughs> All right, with that being said, have a great evening. We'll see you later. <laughs>